Clutch Trucker filmed before a live studio audience, Rusty, the world famous and very furry meatball dog. Yeah, it's almost grooming time. What are you gonna do? Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. All right, uh, this is a real short video today. Main, main point, actually a few things went right. It's, it's amazing with trucking and especially uh, lately with the whole COVID crap, blah, 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 blah. A lot hasn't been going well. Back here at the Iowa 80 in Walcott, Iowa, they've still got tons of snow and ice around here. I'm pretty much in the same spot I was at last week when I got stuck here. But uh, they've managed to scrape all the ice and snow off of the parking lot. It's all pushed back behind the where the trailers are. When I took Rusty out, there's mountains of ice and snow that he was crawling over to go do his stuff. But And still ice. Uh, there's still ice on all the bushes and trees and everything. It's obviously never gotten above freezing since the last time I was here, just over a week ago, uh, or not even that much time. And here I am back here again, delivered down in Muscatine, Iowa today, and uh, now we're going to pick up in DeWitt, Iowa, just about 30 miles kind of northeast of here, and then I'll go all the way to uh, Watertown, New York, which is north of Rochester, uh, Rochester on I-81 in New York State, uh, damn near Canada, and I deliver on Monday. But it's only like 950 miles, plenty of time, tonight's Thursday night, the 7th, got plenty of time to get there, so it's going to be an easy weekend, and it pays really well, it pays just sick money, uh, I don't know why, and it's supposed to be like car fresheners, car air fresheners, why is that paying so well, I don't know, but I'll take it. Let me just throw in here real quick. Yeah, I know there's been a lot of crap going on uh, the last couple of days with the whole, uh, you know, the people charging on the Capitol and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to touch on any of that. Why? Because it, that's a political issue. That's, you know, people get really heated. I'm not, I'm not even going there, all right? That's what CNN is for. That's what all those, there's plenty of YouTube channels where you can find people screaming, uh, you know, one way or the other. I'm not even touching it. No. This tr uh, channel is all about trucking, things to do with trucking, fixing trucks, uh, getting tires, trying to make a living out here, yada, 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 and some entertainment. So I'm not even going there. All right, yeah, the whole point of this video is a few things actually went freaking right, uh, which is so unusual out here. Um, I, I, my uh, DOT health card expired Sunday which was the, what, uh, today's Thursday, the 7th, uh, that was the 3rd, right? Yeah, because I got it done here at the Iowa 80 uh, two years ago, and it expired Sunday. I've been trying to get the damn thing renewed for about a month and a half. Uh, most of the places that uh, used to do that don't do it anymore. They, 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 they shut down because of the whole COVID crap. So you can't go get your health card renewed at most of the places where you had a chance to do that before. A lot of times they had little offices near truck stops and stuff where you could go in and just get it done. Well, most of those are gone. I tried to stop early, early this morning in uh, Columbia or Plymouth, Indiana. I, there were two billboards before I got there. Hey, we do DOT, physicals, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I looked online, they opened at eight o'clock. I was right there at eight o'clock. Walked inside, hey, I need a DOT physical. And they said, oh, not today. <laughs> what do you mean not today? Well, the one person who can do them apparently was gone until Monday. There's a chiropractor here at Iowa 80, uh, like I say, that I got it done two years ago at. And I was here like a, a little over a week, or a little less than a week ago, where I got stuck here and blah, blah, blah. But it was always opposite hours of when he was available. He's only uh, open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's a six-hour window. That ain't too too good. And so I was always in and out, you know, before and after those hours. You know, except the day I got stuck, and then I was just pissed off, chopping at the ice with my fifth wheel puller, just trying to get freaking out of here. But anyway, um, so I was able to make it back over here today. I, I knew I had a load delivering in Muscatine, Iowa. So I uh, texted Bo this morning, my dispatcher, and said, look, don't book me on anything yet today. I'm going to try to get this done because I'm overdue. Uh, you know, I, I think maybe they're still giving you a little bit of leeway on that, but, you know, I don't want to risk it. So uh, I came here first, 
went in. I tried calling this morning. He didn't answer. I texted him. He didn't answer. I got here half expecting to see a sign on the door saying we're closed because of COVID or something. He was actually there. Got it done. Oh, within like 20 minutes, I was in and out. Got my new DOT card. Great. Went and took a shower. And they have a barber here at the Iowa 80. And after my shower, I'm like, yeah, let me see if I can get my hair cut. That doesn't look good. Ah, see, nice. Trimmed all around. Ah, yes. It's a beautiful thing. She said, oh, yeah, well, there's some guy who's next after uh, after this guy. But then I can get to you maybe after that. And she did. So I got my hair cut. And uh, if you watched my previous video about getting the tires, that was my other big goal so far in 2021 was to get new drive tires. And I did that last weekend at the Petro and Girard. And they gave me another $64 in points because I spent money with them getting drive tires. So I'm like, hey, I'm doing some shopping. I'm at the Iowa 80. And I wanted to get a new steering wheel cover and I wanted to get a new uh, spinner knob for my uh, steering wheel. Well, that's where things kind of fell apart. But, got my DOT physical done. Got a shower. Got a haircut. Three pluses. One downside. We'll talk about the downside. This is the steering wheel cover I've had on here for months and months now. And it's kind of wearing out. And um, I was ready for a new one. So I thought, well, I'd use some of my points for that. And I cut this one to help get it off because it would fit really snugly on this wheel. And that's kind of a mistake. If you look at my dash, I have kind of the cherry finish dash there. So I was trying to get my next steering wheel cover to match it, which it does right there. It kind of matches the dash. So I thought, well, that's cool. And I got a new spinner knob that matches as well. And the problem is I bought plenty of steering wheel covers from the Iowa 80. This one uh, I paid for and brought it out to the truck. I was trying to install it and it doesn't quite fit. It was too big. So I stupidly cut it and was hoping to maybe strap it down with some zip ties and stuff and make it work with a new spinner knob and nah, it didn't work. So basically I just cashed or <laughs> flushed $33 worth of new steering wheel cover down the drain, but at least it was points. It wasn't real money, so I'm not quite as mad, but here's my new spinner knob. See, it's uh, kind of that cherry wood finish to match my dash. So I like that, but now I'm, I'm going bare here on the steering wheel. So, you know, <laughs> Maybe I'll go in there and buy one tomorrow before I leave. We'll just see. Just kind of mad that I spent my points on it and then cut it. That was my fault. I don't know. Maybe I'll just go bare wheel for a while. It's uh, it's just that with I, I've been used to the steering wheel covers. I mean, this is pretty thin. It's pretty thin. But you know, now that I've got uh, my other new uh, spinner knob, probably you know it won't be too big a deal. We'll just see. Well, like I said, really tough to uh, try to get the damn, you know, DOT physical done. And at least, you know, that's one thing I like about the Iowa 80. They have options. They got a hair place. They got the, the chiropractor who does the physicals. Uh, you know, you can spend your points here. And uh, so not a bad place to stop overall. But so, you know, a couple of good things, a couple of bad things. But I got two major things done within the first week or so out in 2021 that I was trying to get done with new drive tires and get my physical done and got those in the can. Yeah, just a real short one today. Uh, you know, just wanted to say, hey, actually some shit went right. <laughs> uh, it's kind of unusual in trucking, it seems, anymore, right? You know, I tell you. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, blah, blah, blah. All the spiel, you know, like, uh, comment, Patreon, you know, um, coffee if you want to support the channel. Uh, get your comments it sometimes takes a day or two because I'm a working truck driver uh, and ring that uh, bell for notification right sniff that magic U2 fairy dust clutch and rusty out I must show you this uh, lickable wallpaper for nursery room uh, walls lick a lemon it tastes like a lemon lick a strawberry it tastes like a strawberry lick a schnozberry it tastes like a schnozberry <laughs>